Hey everybody! Welcome back to Brick Building Fun! Today, we have a cool thing to show you. I have a cool thing to show you. This, uh, I found these at the $5 store. They were $3 each. I look online and they're like $12 to $30 each. Ninja Turtles, um, Eastman and Laird's Collector Series. So that's cool. This is what the Ninja Turtles looked like in the original comics that they were in. That's how they started out. And of course, I got all four of them. They're not in order of how much I like them, but you know, Michelangelo, Donatello, Raphael, Leonardo. And we're gonna open them up and build them. I'm not sure if I need a knife. So I'm just uh, gonna wing it. Oh, I do need a knife. I see some. Some, some, some here. Open up Leonardo. Leonardo is normally purple, but originally they all had red. I'm guessing they only had like one color to work with. This is, of course, Mega Blocks. They do the Ninja Turtles sets. I don't know if they do them any more of them. Let's see. Come on out. I don't want to destroy the box. There we go. Very cool. Although, I might not end up keeping the box. We'll see. Here he is with his katana blades. And this, this is a very high quality... <laughs> and then his arm comes off. I think it's supposed to come off. Very high quality um, figure here. When I got these, um, you know, there was maybe two sets of all of them left, and I grabbed one, so there was one set left at the store. Look how poseable that is, it's very nice. And um, I went back the next day, not to get the other one, but just to see. All gone. They had been snapped up, probably by collectors like me. Or people who are more hardcore about collecting this stuff than I am. There we go. He's got his weapons that he never seems to use to cut people, but that's a good thing. It's not cool to cut people. His legs, yep, his knees bend and everything. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Okay, now we got some instructions. Wow, this is actually kind of big. Wow, this won't even almost fit on screen, will it? Here. Here's the instructions. Wow. I hopefully will be able to find um, a copy of this of these instructions somewhere. So let's open this up. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Oh, that one might have been perforated somewhere too. I just may have unnecessarily use my teeth, but oh well. There we go. We got a ninja guy throwing some ninja stars. And Leonardo here in all of his red glory. We got some mega constructs bricks. We got a, a manhole cover. And is that it? Yeah. Okay, so this goes down here. It is hot in this garage. Okay, and these go here and here. These bricks are cool. Look at those. They've got sort of a stone texture going on. Let's see. Now, for the next step, we need the manhole cover. We need this wrench-looking doodad. It's not really a wrench, though. And we need all these pipes. And the pipes... I'm not sure it matters which way you put the pipes. Because pipes are pretty much just pipes. 
Okay, and then this sticks down here. And this, they show it connecting here. Um, there, right there. Next step, pretty much everything else. Take this clear thing and this doodad here. Right, right. Stick the doodad into the clear thing. And then stick the clear thing into the, the valve, I guess, is what that is. Okay, and then what goes where? This goes up here, this, um, oh wait. Oh, I see, I see. I did something wrong. You stick a black doodad in there like that, and you put that there, right, right. And you put that there, so you don't put the, the valve on the clear thing. That's fine, that's fine. I didn't really want to anyway. This red thing goes in here. I'm guessing these are all just sort of uh, surfaces to put to put Leonardo on. And we have a ninja star. What am I supposed to do with that? It doesn't say. Okay, then this. This goes right here like this. Mm-hmm. And this goes right here. Uh, like, like something, like this. I'll put it in the middle. There we go. That's, that's it. That's Leonardo. Then you put Leonardo on there somehow. He connects all kinds of ways. He's even got a little, uh, little thing in his back so you can sort of do this so it'll look like he's jumping. Very cool, very cool. I will have a fun play with that. All right, I'll be right back to do the rest of these guys. All right, I am back and, yeah, ready to begin with my second favorite turtle, Donatello. I had to take a break there for a while because it was just way too hot in here. Uh, I live in Texas where the heat gets crazy. South Texas, so... Yeah, a lot of fun. Here we go. Donatello. He is the purple one, or at least he became the purple one when they turned him purple in, uh, in the 90s. Here he is the red one with the bow staff. Let's see. I think I'll open the bottom. I think that's the easiest way to get at this stuff. Let's see here. There we go. Yeah. That was easy. We got our big old instructions there. Not that this is overly complicated. Okay, there we go. <laughs> got him got him kind of figured out when he was in the box his legs were a little bit strange. So, yeah, these are really nice figures. Much better than anything else I've seen from, from, uh, from Mega Bloks. Okay, there we go. I can give him his weapon here. Weapon that is arguably uh, more dangerous than the swords. There we go. There is Donatello, and then we'll build this thing here. I like Donatello. It's really a toss-up which one I like more, Donatello or Leonardo, because uh, Leonardo's the leader, so he's in the spotlight for that, but Donatello is the smart one. He's the one, he's the engineer. He builds the machines, programs the computers, all that good stuff.
Uh, Donatello and Leonardo are certainly the two uh, most important, I would say. There we go, and this will go back here. Um, I don't know if... Oh, it doesn't matter. It's uh, You can't really put this upside down because there is no upside down. Okay, and as before with the other one, it wants us to put it in like this, of course. Oh, you could just make him stand right here. I guess that that's a simple thing to do. And then get some things on here. Yeah, this, yeah, this thing right here. In the instructions, it shows the red thing going into a blue highlighted thing. And I guess that's a handhold or something. I don't know. Whoops. Put that through there. Put that through there. So the the, the things behind them are all done basically the same way. So I might just uh, skip through all the building of that in future ones. Let's see. I don't know how much of a difference it actually makes where you put each element. I'm not a, a sewer expert. Put that there. Stick this wherever. And this one just goes... Hmm. Oh, I see. They show it going kind of on top of that nub that we put in. And this will go up here. Awesome. Donatello. Oh, the, uh, the valve came off. You know what? I'll just, I'll just stick it there. Whatever. Who cares? Donatello. All right. Now for my third favorite, Raphael. He is the one who... Uh, he was the more sarcastic one on the 90s TV show. He was sort of like the... Uh, uh, the Chandler of the group. But in the movies, they made him, uh, like, moody and rebellious and angry and resentful of having to do what he's told, which kind of made him much more relatable. I don't know. I relate to both of those things. Not wanting to obey authority and being very sarcastic and dry in my wit. Here we go. Open up. Get out of there, turtle. Let's get him out of there. He's got the coolest weapons. Size. Defensive as well as offensive. Okay, one cool thing about these is that the feet turn also, as well as the hands. There's just so much detail here, it's ridiculous. If you find this at the $3, at $3 store, at the $5 store, you pick it up. Pick up a set. Don't pick up too many, because save some for everybody else, but... Uh, these are well worth purchasing, especially for three dollars. They're really nice. Now I'll just rush through and make this real quick. All right, there we go. I gave him, I gave him kind of a wide stance, but uh, that'll work. All right, now we got Michelangelo. Um, he is my least favorite. He's a lot of fun, though. He's the youngest and most fun. The party dude. I think he actually adds a much-needed bit of. Uh, humor and levity to the uh, the turtles situation they're basically monsters I mean come on they're intelligent they're nice but if most people saw them they would run away so I think they need a party dude to kind of uh, put it all in perspective Remind them what life is all about. Enjoying life, surrounding yourself with friends and family. 
And the legs are often awkward when they first, okay, this, they were a little less awkward coming out of this. I just can't get over how great these figures are. Look at that. That's just, that's amazing. I am so glad I was able to find these for only $3. Let's see, put that in that hand. Come on, you. Well, it looks like those might come off of there pretty easily. Okay, now to build the rest of this thing. All right, and there he is, uh, Michelangelo in all his glory with the Mousers behind him. I saw a comment somewhere about how they really liked the Mousers, and I always liked them too. And here they are. Well, here's three of them. I put Leonardo in the house because it was way too hot out here. Okay, so there we go. There's three out of the four, and I have the fourth inside. So, very cool. Hope you enjoyed that. I sure did. I will proudly display these somewhere. So, catch you next time.